welcome back so I wanted to do one of these favorites videos um, again with every other video <laughs> that I've made here on YouTube it's one of my favorites to watch so I wanted to make one for myself and uh, so this is going to be my May favorites um, I do have quite a bit to share with you so I'm pretty excited um, I'm hoping to do this every month of course the monthly favorites uh, so yeah let's just get into it um, my first favorite uh, is camping. I actually wanted to film this on the campground uh, this past weekend, but it was so cold and rainy. Um, but hopefully that's the last cold spell we're going to have, and it's just going to be nice and warm from here on out. So that's my number one favorite. Can't wait to go back to the campgrounds. We're going back Friday when I'm going to be posting this. I cannot wait. My little girl absolutely loves it. I grew up on that campground, so watching her do the same thing is it's amazing um, so camping um, and I guess I'll do uh, they're all here in front of me I'm just gonna grab um, so another favorite of mine has been film cameras um, when I like things I like them in excess it's just my personality type I think um, I picked this camera up at a thrift store for like a dollar. Old school scroll snap. I, like I mentioned, uh, oh, you've not seen that video yet, but I love physical prints. Um, my mommy had picture albums and I just would flip through them all the time and I have those photos today. Um, and as much as I love my camera uh, on my phone, and for its convenience, I love a physical print. And something about these is very nostalgic. And these are back around, um, you know, 90s are back around. Um, this I got on eBay. It was brand new, still sealed in the pack for $12. And it came with a roll of film that expired in, um, I believe it was 93, I believe. Um, and I got them developed. And you can tell that the pictures are a little bit blurry, um, but I really like it. And um, I don't know if you've gotten film developed recently, but the last time I got film developed, um, you got your negatives back. Not now. Now you don't get, or at least at Walmart, which is where I got mine, you don't get the negatives back. They give you a CD with the digital prints on them, which I think is cool. So you get both the physical copy and you get that a digital print if you want, you know, to put it on Facebook or what have you. But I've really been loving these. Um, all of these have like one exposure left in them. And then I'm going to take them all in and they cannot wait. Um, and you don't need all of these, obviously. Uh, one will do. But like I said, I, I, I like things in excess. And I am keeping track of uh, when I get the, them uh, printed. That's not the word. What's the word when you get film? Whatever the word is. Um, I'm keeping track of which camera does which, so I know kind of which one is the best. I also don't know if you've bought film lately, but it's kind of pricey. I think it's $18 for a pack of three. A little bit, a little bit pricey. <laughs> I'm going to move on to um, my kitchen. This little gizmo. I got a pack of two from QVC. I've seen people talk about these before and it is just a clip on strainer. Um, so you don't need a separate colander. Uh, you just literally clip this onto your pan and then dump it out. This is the handiest thing that's ever been invented. Well, maybe not, but it's really good. Um, I wasn't sure how it would work, you know, uh, but it so far I've tried it with multiple different pots and it's worked with all of them. It's got like silicone grips so it doesn't really slip off the pan. It's a good, good firm clip um, and it just rolls up and stores easy. I also find it really easy to clean. I don't know about you, but like colanders, I hate cleaning them. I don't feel like you ever get all the grease out and this I've had no trouble with. And again, this is, I got this in a pack of two. But I've just got this one out. The other one's still sealed. And they were $13. I'll link them below. But I just love this. It's just been the handiest kitchen gadget. Like I said, that I've maybe not ever had. But most recently, I love it. 
and I'll just show you my other kitchen favorite. Um, I got this at Walmart. The sticker's not on it. I got two of these. This one obviously has not been used, um, but my other one has been used two bits, and I'm pretty sure I got these for $4 on, on clearance. Um, I wanted all of our pans a stick. I don't know what it is about frying pans, but they stick. Um, these I have cooked so much in the last month, two months. Uh, I'm cooking like almost every night, which is, I mean, it's not a thing I used to do. Um, but it just, nothing has stuck. I've made um, like um, roux and different sauces. I've fried chicken meatballs um and nothing has stuck and like i said i'm using it daily um i don't know i mean i'm keeping metal as far away from it as possible because i don't want it to stick i hate when things stick to pans um and so far this has been awesome uh if you see these pick them up like i said i picked up two because they were on clearance and we needed some but I've just been using the one because I can just wipe it out. It cleans really easy. I just love it. And it says it's oven safe, dishwasher safe, heats quickly and e easily, e quickly and evenly, easy cleanup and release. Uh, I love it. I really, really, really love it. Okay, and the next is my tiny purse. I am a small, actually I'm not a pers person at all. I'm a wallet person. And this was my previous wallet, which I love. My husband got it for me. I asked for it, and he got it for me off of Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, you know, I, I normally just carry my wallets, my wallets, my card, and, uh, you know, keys or whatnot. Um, and this was really handy. Um, but with Penelope now, you know, this was on my wrist, and it just seemed to keep getting in the way. I don't, it's, you know, a bit much but it was getting in my way so i seen this at first i laughed at this trend i seen it going around and i was like that's ridiculous what can you fit in that tiny purse that, that's just silly um but then i seen it at marshall's one day and i, I think it was seven dollars <laughs> it's on clearance um and i thought you know what i'm gonna get that because i'm always complaining about my wallet anymore and this has a long chain so i wear this cross body and it's perfectly it sits right at my hip um, I can easily access it it's super cute um, and it holds everything I need like it holds my little wallet that I got um, and it holds my phone which this did not hold my phone um, is even like I don't know if it's the shape of it but it would not hold my phone and I just have the iPhone SE uh, 2020 so it's as big as an iPhone 7 8 um, but this will hold my phone, it holds my wallet, it will hold one of my cameras, um, it holds my keys, you know, whatever, well not whatever, but I can fit a lot in this tiny little bag. And I love it. Uh, I have absolutely zero regrets. It is tarnishing a little bit, um, but I don't regret making the purchase, you know, for as, for as much use as I'm getting out of it, I might consider buying a higher quality one. But this is lasting me really well. Like I can tell like it's getting a little bit flimsy. Like the, it's faux leather, of course. I have no idea what the brand is. Uh, it has no markings anywhere. Again, I got it at Marshall's. If I can find one similar, I'll link it below. But again, uh, this is a trend. They do make bags smaller than this. Any smaller than this, I do think is ridiculous. <laughs> but this is actually functional. So I'm loving this. And I've gotten quite a few compliments on it as well. So that's always nice. Next thing, I'm not wearing it in this video, of course, um, but you may see it in a few videos coming up, is this ring. Um, I really, really like it. I think he's really cool. Um, it's just a bold statement ring. I've gotten several compliments on it too. This came from Shein, and I'm pretty sure it was $2.50. It come in a different pack of men's rings. Uh, but I got it specifically for this ring. I seen this girl, uh, Emma's Rectangle here on YouTube. Um, I'll link her below if you don't know her, but I'm sure you do. Um, but she has one, but it's 
it's a, it's like a statement ring like this but hers is like a mickey mouse skull it's what it looks like from what i can see um but i just really liked how bold it was and it just it looks cool um and then i seen this one on shein i thought yep i'm getting that um my nephews like it <laughs> but um it, it fits my uh, pointer finger i don't really know the size um i'm sure it will tarnish and fade but i really like it for now something that i wanted to pick up to physically show you and obviously just to have in my house but i can't find it are the diet cherry seven ups i found these at walmart one day okay well no i found them years ago when I lived in Lexington. I li uh, left Lexington in 2009. So it was before that they had the Cherry 7-Up. I loved them. I came back home and I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, if you're from here, Parkway had them. Parkway Pharmacy had them for a while. But then they stopped getting them. Um, and then one day, randomly at Walmart, they had the Diet Cherry 7-Up. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm going to give that to go. And I loved them. I found them at Walmart, uh, our Priceless, and our Food City. And I've went back to all of them and they only have it in the two liter bottles. I want it in the can. I am a Coke addict, lover, fiend, what have you. Um, and I know that's bad for you. I know it's no good, full of sugar, bleh. but I love it. Um, but you know, I do know that it's not good for me, um, but I, I love soda. Um, that's just, I love soda. I've tried to quit it before. I don't want to. I like it. Um, but I do try to take <laughs> intermittent spells off of the Coke. Um, and that has been the only other soda that I really like. Like, it gives me all the fizzies. It's flavorful. It doesn't have that diet taste or that, um, flat taste or that funny taste in your mouth, you know, that diet sodas have. I love it. I don't know why I'm saying soda. I don't say soda. It's a pop. Um, but yeah, if you can find those, um, I would tell you to get them. But if you live around here, please don't buy them all. <laughs> Just let me know where they're at. And I have some beauty favorites of mine. Um, I have these brushes. I've not used them because they're not my favorite in the practicality. They're my favorite in the way they look. And I hate the word, but they're aesthetic. Um, they're these Wet n Wild brushes. They come out with their Fantasy Maker collection for this summer. I think they're so pretty. Well, they all do that. I'm not gonna show you in a little. But, so they have this eye blender brush, highlighter brush, trying to remember these look almost exact same this barrels just pinched just a little bit more I'm pretty sure this is a blush and a powder um but again I didn't get these for their use which is bad I know um but this just kind of combines uh two of my favorite things if you know me uh hey there um uh, if you know me you know that I loved snow globes when I was younger I collected them I had over a hundred um, I don't anymore. I just still have the very first one that I got. Um, but this kind of, it makes me very nostalgic for my snow globes. And it kind of combines that childhood love I had for snow globes with my current love for makeup. And I could do this all day. So uh, they were, I picked these up at Walmart. Um, I seen them on uh, Wet n Wild's website and I had them in my cart, but I'm kind of funny about placing online orders. It takes me two months to place the order. Um, but I seen them in store and it was instant gratification. So I had to have them. And I think they were like $4.98 a piece. So not the best price when you buy them all. But I still love them. And again, I could do this all day. But I won't. <laughs> two other makeup favorites kind of go together. Um... I've been getting ready a little bit more lately than normal. I don't know why. Just want to, but I like to get ready fast um, because of my daughter. Um, and I've had this for a while. And if you've not tried this Aqua Assurance uh, powder foundation, I know everybody's going crazy for the uh, L'Oreal 
uh, Infallible Foundation because it was trending on TikTok. But this has been out longer than that. I think it's more affordable. You can only get it on Ulta. Um, but I think this is better. Um, I heard Taylor Wynn talking about it here on YouTube and she raved about it. And she, at the time that she tried this, she had like acne prone skin and um, it, it has amazing coverage. Like full coverage. You know how people show that dang L'Oreal foundation. This is kind of like that. I'm going to try to show y'all my tattoo. Uh, Cause it's like, and I use the sponge. I think that's the best coverage. Let me see. I don't know how to do this y'all. Let's see. I'm going to try to look in the mirror. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is in the shade, um, ivory so i have it in the shade porcelain uh which is a little bit too light for me and at first this can look a little bit chalky um but you just blend it in and um i always use a setting spray over top of it and it just melts right into the skin and looks like you applied foundation and you just seen the coverage and you can build this up i mean i love it i think this is awesome and it's fast even though it's that full coverage, you think it might be a little bit finicky, but I don't find I don't find it. Um, I really, really like it. They did expand their shade range. I don't know how many shades they have, but I think this is thirteen dollars on Ulta. But it's almost always on sale, um, so you can normally get the J Cat. I didn't even tell you what it was. It's the J Cat Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation, and um, J Cat's often on sale on Ulta. I'll link it below. And then to go along with that, again, with the speedy getting ready, um, is this, this is going to blind you, I'm sorry, is the Hourglass, Hourglass <laughs> Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture. This came out last, last Christmas, last holiday season. I've never had an Hourglass palette. They are expensive, um, shamefully expensive. But I'm very proud to say that I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Like, I'm not just letting it sit around. I'm, I'm using it. Um, so, it has blush, blush, bronzer, all over face powder, all over face powder, highlighter. I use this for under my eyes. I don't really use this. Love this bronzer. Um, and I use a lot of this blush and the highlighter. I don't so much use this one, but um, you, can, you can't tell. But I can tell they're like kind of they're baked so they're domed and they are going down so i'm using them um and again to go along with this like you just i just need these two things and this is a full face it's amazing i'm i, I'm, I just lied to you i need concealer and i put concealer on before this just because i don't like to put this all the way up under my eyes because you know it is a powder um but these two things together I can throw my face on in like five minutes. Um, and the, if you've never used hourglass powders, they do kind of have a satin finish to them. They're not fully matte, um, not glitter, not not glitter at all, um, but they blend really nicely. And this bronzer, let's see, let's see if I can show you. I know I suck at this, so. That's kind of heavy, a heavy bronzer swatch there. It doesn't go on that strong, but it can. It can definitely build up to that, depending on what brush you use. So a lot of times what I've been doing lately is going ahead and just doing the whole, both of these at the same time to kind of lighten that bronzer. It doesn't really affect, it doesn't really affect the finish of it in any way. It just makes it a little bit lighter. So yeah really really been loving that and I don't know if this particular one is still available uh, but I'll look and see what what palettes I can find for you from our list again it is expensive it's not cheap and the last favorite um, I don't have a physical thing to show you I, I did make a full video on it that I'm gonna put up after this one but it is our every plate subscription uh, which is a meal subscription a meal kit subscription that we get weekly um, it's just been um, awesome. I love it. Um, again, I'm going to put that review up after this video, so I'm not going to go too much into detail, but if you know you're interested in it, definitely uh, subscribe. Um, 
it should be up next Friday at the latest. Um, I know I'll give you all the details you need to know, but I love it. It's uh, marketed as the most affordable meal kit, and I've tried. This is my well, this is my second meal kit, but I've checked into HelloFresh before, and it's way too expensive. Um, and so, of those three, it is the it is the cheapest. Um, but again, that'll be next week. Um, and then I do just have two fails that I wanted to share with you. Um, two disappointing products. No, no, this is a straight up fail. Um, I talked about this in my Dollar Tree haul on how I love exfoliating feet masks. And I do. Um, and I was like, oh, well, this should work. It's got lactic acid or whatever in it. Uh, this does not work. My feet did not peel at all. This is the worst mask I've ever tried. It is not worth even a dollar. Um, the other feet masks are kind of made like socks. These are literally like plastic bags they're not they're not good don't don't waste your dollar on these i got three more of these in my drawer because i got excited and i'm never going to use them those are garbage sorry and uh, the next thing is this brush i don't want to show you from it because my hair brushes get gross um i'll show you that <laughs> um, but this is the tangle teaser and i spent a dang pretty penny on this brush i seen danielle from our time of the month talk about it and I usually love all the things those girls recommend um so I thought that I would love this as well and it I don't like it I am a wet brush girl I really like those um they get through my knots and I'm not particularly tender-headed uh but this pulls and I don't feel like wet brush bristles are flimsy like these are too but I just I mean, my hair's straight right now, so it's going to go through. Um, but I just don't feel like when I have knots and my hair's not straight and it's a bit poofy and frizzy, that this comes anywhere close to getting my knots out or anything like that. And it does pull. Maybe I'm just spoiled to the wet brush. Um, but I don't like this and I don't recommend it. I'm very disappointed in it. So that's all my favorites from May and a couple fails. Um, again, if you're interested in hearing more about the Every Plate uh, Meal Kit subscription, be sure to subscribe. I should be posting that next week. Um, let me know your favorites of the month or ever. Um, I really hope you enjoy this. I link ev <laughs> I'll link everything I can below. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like. Uh, comment, subscribe, all the good things, and I'll see you in my next video.